This is the first generation Surface laptop of 2017 and I decided to buy this laptop in 2018 because it still has a lot to offer. So in this video I will compare it against the Apple's latest models that you can buy now and I picked up the closest models to the one I have here. They all have 8GB of RAM, DDR3, 256GB of storage and 13 inch display size. Both the Pro and the Surface has Core i7 processors except the Air is only available in Core i5. So I I will use a point system where the first position in any comparison will get three points, the second gets two points, and the third gets one point. So let's check out how they are compared to each other. The surface design is very similar to Apple's laptops. They share the same clean design that only shows the company logo at the top. They are all made from aluminum, which feels solid and premium in hand. However, the surface has four different colors to choose from versus three colors for the MacBook Air and two for the Pro. The surface has one USB type A port, one mini HDMI and a 3.5 millimeter jack. Where on the back you have the fan grill and on the right side you have the magnetic charging port. I will be comparing connectivity later in this video, so let's check out the weight and size. The Core i5 variant weights 1.25 kg, where the Core i7 weights 1.28, which is barely noticeable. It has a depth of 22.32 cm and a width of 30.81. It also has a very slim form factor with 1.44 at its thickest point, compared to Apple's it's the thinnest across all of them. It also lighter than the MacBook Pro which is 1.37 kg, however it has the same weight as the MacBook Air if it's a Core i5. With the exception to the Core i7 that has 30 grams extra weight, so I will consider they are the same. Despite the lighter and the thinner body of the surface, it has the biggest display across all of them. The MacBook Air and the Pro are slightly smaller than the surface with 30.41 cm wide and 21.24 cm depth. So, with a bigger display, lighter and a slimmer body, I think the Surface Laptop wins in this department, followed by the Air and the Pro comes in the third position. I enjoy watching videos on the Surface Laptop as its display produces vibrant and accurate colors. It has an aspect ratio of 2 to 3 and 13.5 inches display covered with Gorilla Glass 3. It offers a resolution of 2256 by 1504 with a pixel density of 201 ppi. It has a multi-touch capability with up to 10 fingers. It also supports the surface pen for drawing and handwriting. It uses pixel sense technology which has less latency while touching. Comparing it to the MacBooks, the Surface has a bigger display at 13.5 inches versus 13.3 on the MacBooks. However, they have a better resolution at 2560 by 1600 versus 2256 by 1504 on the Surface. They also have a better brightness of 500 nits versus 330 nits on the Surface. But the Surface offers more capabilities like the touch screen and the support of Surface Pen, so it depends on your personal preference here. Would you take a bigger display with touch and pen capabilities or the better resolution and brightness. So I will call this one a draw. The Surface has this soft Alcantara material which I have never seen on a laptop before. And it looks very unique. It feels really nice while typing where you feel it under the palm of your hands, makes a very good typing experience. The keyboard is backlit where you can adjust how bright it is and it has a decent key travel distance. The trackpad of the laptop has a size of 105mm by 70 and it's made from glass, which makes it feel premium and it's very accurate. You also has a lot of gestures you can set under settings where you can use up to 4 fingers. In this part, all of them want to disappoint you. They all offer premium materials and their trackpads are pretty accurate. So again, it depends on your personal preference here, if you like the metal feeling or the texture used on the Surface Laptop. Next up is the performance. I don't have the three laptops available with me to do a side-by-side -side comparison, so I used Geekbench to give you an idea about the differences. The Surface has a single core score of 4743 and the multi-core of 9541. It uses the 7th generation Core i7 dual core, clocked at 2.5 GHz with Turbo Boost technology that gives you a maximum speed of 4 GHz. The MacBook Air has a single core score of 4285 and a multi core of 8143, which is 15% slower than the Surface. And the problem is the Air is only available in Core i5 8th generation, dual core clocked at 1.6 GHz with Turbo Boost technology up to 3.6 GHz. Finally, the Pro. 
has a single core score of 4919 and the multi-core score of 156 which is about 5% faster than the Surface however it uses the same exact processor of the Surface laptop so in this part the Pro comes in first with a very small margin followed by the Surface and the Air in the third position as mentioned earlier, I will compare the connectivity offered by the three laptops. The Surface has one USB Type-A, one mini HDMI, and a 3.5 mm jack. It also has an extra USB port in the charger. In the connectivity, the MacBooks are doing a better job here as they use USB-C ports, which is more modern and more capable than the USB-A. Anything else is almost identical, so the MacBooks comes first and the Surface comes in the second position. In this part, I will compare the extra things that improves your experience while using the laptop. To unlock the Surface, you just need to look at it. As it uses Windows Hello feature where the laptop uses the camera and an infrared sensor to detect your face and it works really fast. If you wonder about the dark areas, it works the same way as it does in good lighting. It also uses a magnetic charging port which saves your laptop from potential drops if accidentally pulled the charging wire. Microsoft offers some cool accessories for its Surface line like the Surface mouse I have here which I can make it completely flat if not in use. And it works perfectly well with laptop sleeves as it stays flat with no pumps. The laptop also works with the Surface Pen and the Surface Dial. Comparing that to the MacBooks, the Surface uses face recognition where the Air uses Touch ID and the Pro model I'm comparing here doesn't offer any of these. But you still can get the Touch ID if you upgrade it to the Pro with the Touch Bar which is $300 extra. The Surface is the only one that has magnetic charging port which is used to be in older MacBooks but not anymore. And I'm not sure why Apple decided to take this cool feature off. Finally, the accessories. The Surface has three cool accessories versus only the Magic Mouse on the MacBooks and some dongles. So the Surface wins this comparison by far, in my opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. And the battery. The Surface has a 45.2 Watt hour battery where Microsoft claims to give you 14.5 hours of video playback. Where the Air has a 50.3 Watt hour battery where Apple claims 13 hours of video playback. And the MacBook Pro has a 54.5 Watt hour battery and it gives you 10 hours of video playback. So I was thinking which one matters, the Watt hours or the actual experience you get. So for me, I don't care how much Watt hour battery I have, but at the end how much time my battery will last is the most important. So the Surface comes first followed by the Air and the Pro comes in the third position. So let's wrap up the whole comparison and see which one is the best. For the weight and size, the Surface took the first position with three points and the Air comes in second with two points and the Pro in third with one point. In the display comparison it was a draw between all of them as each display excel in its own way so it depends on your personal preference here. In the materials it's a tough one to compare where all of them offers premium materials however it depends which material you prefer so I will skip this one. In the performance the Pro comes in the first position followed by the Surface and the Air comes in the third position. In the connectivity, the Air and the Pro comes first, where the Surface comes in the second position with two points. In the ease of use section, the Surface comes first, followed by the MacBooks in the second position. In the battery, the Surface comes first, followed by the Air, and the Pro comes in third. The price. The Surface Core i7 8GB of RAM with 256GB of storage is priced at $1300 while the Air with a Core i5, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage is priced at $1400 which is $100 more than the Surface. And finally the Pro with Core i7, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage with no touch bar is priced at $1800. So it comes in the third position. So if you do the math, the Surface will get 13 points versus 10 points for each MacBook. So I will call the Surface Laptop the best choice as you are getting more features and paying less. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you like the video and if you have any comments, please share with me to get an idea what you guys think. Is the Surface the right choice for you as well or you prefer the MacBooks? So thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos.